Hello everyone, my name is Sylvia. I come from Poland and I'm here in China already almost three years. I want to share my experience about uh, coming to China, especially that uh, recently I came back uh, to China. So uh, there are some things that you need to prepare before coming to China. Uh, first of all, one of the most important is valid visa. Uh, you need to make sure that the company or the school uh, that will bring you here will give you the uh, legal visa. Remember, if they will tell you that they can give you like the tourist visa or business visa and then when you come here, they will change it. Most of the time it's not true. So make sure that uh, you found a school that can give you the legal visa and then you can come here uh, without any problems. When you arrive here in China, you will be surprised because most of the apps that we use, like Facebook, Instagram or Google, uh, they are banned here. If you want to use them anyway, uh, you can do it, but for that we'll, you will need uh, another app, which is called the VPN. Uh, it is recommended that maybe you can have like two at least um, different apps, VPN, uh, because in case one it's not going to work, then you can have like the second one. Uh, so remember to download the VPN. Uh, you can use the ExpressVPN, uh, NordVPN, uh, just make sure to have at least two. Another thing uh, that is really important and also uh, connects with the phone, there are other apps that they are useful or some of them uh, they need to be like every day uh, in your life, which is WeChat. WeChat is the um, app that is used every day for the communication with other people. Another app that is really useful, uh, I think, it's uh, Alipay, which also used for the DD and for other apps. Um, if you want to uh, deliver some food, you can use Mate One, or if you want to buy some uh, things from the stores, online stores, you can use Taobao. When you're coming to China, also another thing important, especially for the far, uh, first one month, uh, is to have some money. Uh, make sure to have some uh, Chinese RMB. Uh, it's suggested to have at least five to seven thousand RMB just for the uh, first one month, uh, because uh, for the first one one month you're not gonna get a salary. So make sure to have it. Just you can buy uh, some food, uh, you can buy some bed sheet, things to your uh, new apartment and also pay some uh, fees for like uh, electricity or water. So uh, try to remember to, to exchange your money. Uh, also another thing that's really important when you're coming to your new apartment is to uh, bring something, to stack up uh, things before you're coming. So uh, the most important thing is uh, medicine. Especially if you are uh, having some um, um, health issues, it's better to take uh, some uh, medicine with you. Remember also about the clothes, uh, change of clothes. Um, if you come into Jinja, uh, winter can be here a little bit colder, so remember to take some jacket or uh, some other things, just to make sure you're not going to be uh, cold. Another thing to remember about coming to China, uh, just in case something will happen, uh, it's better to have travel insurance. Travel insurance uh, you can buy um, in your home country, uh, so that when you come here, uh, you will be uh, feeling more safe in something uh, in case of something happen, or maybe even uh, when you lose your luggage. So remember to to buy it. And the last thing when you come into China uh, to remember, and it's one of the most important, uh, is to have the valid passport. Also take with you uh, the original documents uh, of the bachelor degree, um, non-criminal record and all of them that you uh, did in the uh, embassy. Uh, take it with you just in case uh, anything happened, you will have them with you. And that will be all for me, uh, so I hope uh, with my experience you can come here and have a good, uh, good life here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>